next inductee this afternoon, uh, unfortunately, will not be here. But in his stead to receive his induction is uh, John Messerguzzi. John is here to accept the induction of Gregory Manasiotis of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Gregory attended Mount Lebanon High School from 1959 to 1963 and Youngstown University from 64 to 68. He was the head coach at North Allegheny High School from 88 to 98 and posted an amazing record of 226 wins against only 40 losses. He's the only coach in the history of Western Pennsylvania inner scholastic athletic league to appear in the state title game more than two times with his four teams in which he won a title in 1996. His teams were ranked in the WPIL all 10 years he was a coach. Manasiotis' teams were ranked in Baseball of America five times and USA Today seven times. Was named WPIL Coach of the Year and was honored as Coach of the Year by Baseball America. He was awarded many special citations as Coach of the Year by the Allegheny County and the Pennsylvania House of Representatives. He created baseball boosters and enabling facility improvements for schools. Most, and most importantly, he was an integral part of helping student athletes obtain scholarships to college. He also established scholarships for baseball programs at North Allegheny High School. He eventually became a scout for the Pittsburgh Pirates and was inducted into the North Allegheny Hall of Fame in 2004. His teams were ranked number one by USA Today in the Eastern Region on three separate occasions. And today, ladies and gentlemen, the Order of the Hepa is pleased and honored to enter into the Athletic Hall of Fame Gregory Manasiotis, who incidentally becomes the first father and son inductee of this order. Thank you, Brother Thousand, Brother Spiro. It is quite an honor here to come and receive this honor for one of my brothers from Aristotelis Chapter 34, Pittsburgh, with, that has a story past of three past Supreme Presidents, Peter Paulus, who has recently departed from us, Peter Carbich, and of course, Louis G. Manishotis. I do have some, a brief statement here that I'd like to read on behalf of Brother Gregory. Uh, he starts by saying, thank you, Brother Siagas and Brother Tassos for a fine introduction. Brother Spiro Siagas, members of the Athletic Hall of Fame, Reverend Father Mitrakos, honored guests and fellow inductees, ladies and gentlemen. I'm truly honored and humbled to stand before you today. This is truly an honor that I truly cherish and will hold dear to my heart throughout my entire life. I thank the committee and its voting members for this privilege. Your confidence and trust in any accomplishments I might have obtained throughout my coaching career and to be included with such distinguished members of the hall is truly a privilege. I am proud to be in a happen, a Greek American, and I hope to continue the ideals, aims, and principles of our wonderful organization. As I stand here today to receive this tribute, I would be remiss if I did not thank the many people, players, administrators, teachers, friends, and followers of our baseball program. After all, what is a coach? A teacher, counselor, parent, and friend. We do, the, we do more than coach our certain sport. I have been blessed with coaching over 1,000 players from adolescents to young adults and shared in their lives and seen the world through their eyes. I have learned more from them, I am sure, than I could ever offer them. Every player played important roles in my life. They brought a determination and desire to be a ball player and a success. I could never state which players were my best because that would not be fair. But asked over the years what was my best team, I could respond without hesitation. That's easy. It started with my grandfather who immigrated to America at the age of 11, searching for a new beginning, a new life. He taught me it was permissible to dream. He met his wife here and had four children. Unfortunately, he lost his wife only after a few years of marriage never remarrying and raising his family with commitment to that ideal. He taught me perseverance, that life was not always fair, but to make the best of it to your fullest abilities. My parents, Louis and Nikki, gave me my foundation of principles, beliefs, aims, and commitment. 
These were standards without compromise. My father, while working to establish and build a business, always had time to play catch, throw grounders and pop-ups, and offer general direction in the fundamentals of baseball. He taught me how to punt, how to hit, how to run, how to throw, as well as teaching me all of the fundamentals we discussed the game, talking about strategy, the players and their teams, and instilled this love that I carry throughout my life. My mother would always arrange our meals around our scheduled games and was a stickler to always sending me out with a clean uniform. And I would sometimes ask her not to wash my clothes but we had a good game the day before. She responded, make new memories, Gregory. <laughs> my brother Louis, my constant companion who provided me with great competition, Lou and I would play for hours no matter what the sport was. He was a tremendous athlete in his own right and had to work hard just to keep it up. As we grew older, our father offered more advice, that girls and sports don't mix. <laughs> I, of course, listened. Lewis, on the other hand, did not. We continued our playing careers as we grew, and the biggest difference was Lewis always had a larger following. His retinue of girlfriends, that is. Our best team also includes other men and women, aunts, uncles, priests, teachers, and later coaches who took an interest in me and who cared about how I was doing, and dusted me off whenever I fell down. My best team also includes my best friend, who is also my wife, Susan. She took over the duties of my mother, performed before, before her, always arranging dinners around my games. She would also wash my uniform, and I, when, asked, when I asked her not to wash my socks, because we had a good game the day before, she would state, make new memories, Gregory. <laughs> my best team also includes my children, Melissa and Gregory, their mates, Matt and Joy, and three wonderful grandchildren, Joey, Max, and Megan, they are the light of my life and are worthy carriers of all the best I have to give. In closing, I would like to thank the Order of the Hepa for this tremendous privilege which has been bestowed upon me. I've been a member for 40 year, four years. I have met many outstanding personalities, men with vision, men with dreams, and commitment to make the Hepa what it is today. They have taken the original aims and concepts of our organization, allowed a grandson of an immigrant, wonderful parents, brother, husband, father, and grandfather to have this memorable day. As I gaze into the audience, I notice so many new faces, new Ahepas, and I ask you to take the mantle of leadership, make the Ahepa stronger than when you found it, and make your own memories. Thank you all, and God bless you.